you already know. Happy Candle Day. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the intro and the title above, welcome to my Candle Day video. I was going to be strong. I was going to be strong. Wasn't going to buy any candles. Don't need any candles. And then all the hype. And then all the pictures. And then a $9.95 sale. And then a 20% off sale. And then $7.58. Welcome to now the annual Candle Day video. One, look at these tote bags. I'm obsessed. If you're not familiar, Bath and Body Works Candle Day. Who isn't familiar? But they give us these awesome tote bags now every single year. And this year, they're this fun red gingham that says 2023 Annual Candle Day Bath and Body Works with a little graphic of a three-wet candle. Super fun. Really nice. These are great grocery store bags. Either way, I just love the bags. I picked up 16. I was going to get 18 to fill up a crate, but you know what? I don't know. I just stuck with 16. And I know Bath & Body Works, Candles, and Drew don't have the best performance. But overall, there's still some fragrances that I just really like. A lot of these are classics to me. And a lot of them are new that just really stood out to me. And I've been thinking about all year. And I'm like, for $7.50, I mean, come on. So... I did pick up 16 candles, 16 candles, didn't even think about that. But without further ado, let's get into it. I have my liquid death, grab your drink, and let's get started. The only candle that I purchased multiples of are Fireside. And my store actually is now sold out of Fireside. So I'm so glad that I picked up two. Fireside to me, is so great and so nostalgic. The notes are smoked cedar, fresh clove buds, and warm embers. I used to go crafting with my aunt when I was a little kid at this woman's house. We typically went every month and made like cards. It was super fun. She had the fireside room spray back when it was Slatkin and Company in her bathroom. And every time I smell this candle, I think about that. Super, super nostalgic. But anyway, I love it. I actually love it more than Marshmallow Fireside. So having two of these will be great for those super cold months. And it really does. It just smells like a warm fire. Embers roaring, all that. Mm, I love. It doesn't smell like other Fireside brand, other Fireside candles from other brands. I think it is super unique. And super quintessential to Bath & Body Works. This is either love or hate for a lot of people. I absolutely love it. So I did pick up two. And I think with this snowflake packaging, it will look really pretty when it burns. So picked up two from that collection. I actually picked up four from this next collection. One, I don't know. I talk so much about how much I don't like this candle. To friends, to family, if they ask me how I feel about it, I'm like, I don't like it. But something about it this year with this packaging, I don't know why, fresh balsam. This is such a classic Bath & Body Works candle, and the lids on this one are so fun. They're this really awesome pressed gold with the bow and the holly all around it with a pine cone. Super pretty. Woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. It just hits sometimes. I don't know. It's something. It's very, very strong balsam. I still don't love it. I only got it. I'm going to burn it, see what it's like, experience it. Maybe when I'm really feeling nostalgic holiday, I might like this. Maybe in my living room so it's not overwhelming and I just get whiffs when I walk by. I don't know. I don't think I'm a fresh balsam convert, but I wanted to add one to my collection, if that makes sense. Now, give me Under the Christmas Tree any day. I love Under the Christmas Tree in the same collection. Fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. 
Yes, so good, so good. The tree mixed with the eggnog and the juniper and gives it this really sweet, creamy fragrance. And then added with the sage leaf, it really just smells like your home during the holidays. I'm not saying that you have food in the oven, but with the sage and the juniper berry, it does make it feel more like a kitchen candle. Like you're burning this on a day that you're baking or you're cooking and you're having family come over. They're in and out of the house, but you're at home in your PJs. Everybody's visiting. This is the quintessential Christmas candle. I love this ever since it came out. The first year it came out, now this is it. I love Under the Christmas Tree. So this is a repurchase for me every year. It's a staple, and I love that Bath & Butterworks continues to make it. Speaking of a staple and a classic, hot cocoa and cream. And it was interesting that they picked this packaging for it, but it kind of, kind of slaps with this purple, or this purple, this brown packaging and this absolutely juicy-looking cup of hot cocoa. The notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. I'm not a chocolate fan in candles, in wax, in any home fragrance, but this is so good. This is so good. Love. This is like Swiss Miss hot cocoa mix. Absolutely. Classic, staple, always have to have it. They had two different versions of the wicks this year. I opted for the ones with the black centered core. They're a little bit more robust and thick. I think they burn a little bit better. So I picked this one up. The other ones are flat and I just feel like they would fizzle out quicker. So I picked that up. Another classic is Frosted Cranberry. Also super fun with the plaid packaging. And the notes are Ice Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apples, and Tonka Bean. I'm such a sucker for all things cranberry. And... I would say this is the most similar to Scentsy's Cranberry and Cardamom. And for some reason, Cranberry Woods lately is leaning more towards Frosted Cranberry than Original Cranberry Woods. Cranberry Woods Original, before they changed it to smell like, like Welch's Cranberry Juice, which is what this smells like. But I still love it. It's better for the holidays. It's a really bright tart cranberry and i'm a sucker for all things cranberry during the holiday i love cranberry fragrances cranberry again that's one that people either love or hate and i love a good bright cranberry next the store had so many of these like so many and i've seen so much about it i have the wallflowers i haven't tried yet but raspberry thumbprint love the packaging we have this really bright Gorgeous see-through red. You have Santa with the presents. And then the lid is that same gold color, but it has reindeer and Christmas trees and stars. It's so pretty. And the notes read, buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar. This is so good. This is like a mellowed out, tamed down version of Wildberry Jam Donut. It's definitely emphasis on the jam, but then you have a really sweet, buttery shortbread cookie. It definitely smells like an authentic thumbprint. I really like it though. So I'm excited to burn this. This is definitely gonna be a kitchen candle. I can't picture it throwing that well, but I still picked it up. It'll be a good ambiance candle, if not. And like I said, it's gonna stay in my kitchen. Now, you know, I had to pick up one of these peppermint sugar cookie. <gasps> I love peppermint sugar cookie. Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. So good. So good. So good. White wax. Love. This is quintessential. I remember when they first came out with this. It's been a hit ever since. I don't love it in the wallflower bulb, though. There's something off about it when it gets warm. And they actually didn't even bring it out in a wallflower bulb this year. But this is so great. If you like those buttery, rich sugar cookies with just a sprinkling of a candy cane on top, this is definitely it. So love peppermint sugar cookie. You know I love flannel. This packaging on flannel with this really juicy black lid, this really fun red plaid packaging. Very Nordic, very fun. I cannot wait to burn this one. It will be a great 
bedroom candle. And the notes read fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. I feel like everybody knows flannel. It is very masculine. It is very cologne-like with that bergamot, but it really hits every time. I love it. And this packaging, 10 out of 10. My favorite packaging I've ever seen from a flannel candle. By far. And then body care candles. They had a lot of body care candles this year. Saltwater Breeze, Dahlia, Into the Night, Japanese Cherry Blossom, Ocean, and In the Stars. <gasps> Guys, I've been really loving In the Stars lately in body care. And I'm like, you know what? I've been really into the body care. Let me try the candle. Starflower, sun, sandalwood musk, and radiant amber. It's hard to describe. It is perfumey. It does have that amber background. It is really bright, but it has like a cleanness to it. Not like a laundry clean, but maybe it's because I know I've been using the shower gel lately that it just smells clean and fresh. Either way, I really like it. In the stars, definitely a winner. Had to pick it up and really love the packaging. That'll probably also be a bedroom candle. Next, I picked up pistachio and toasted vanilla. I don't think I've ever had this in a three wick. I know I've had single wicks of it. I'm not a fan of the packaging. Mm, looks like a golf ball and this like brown label. Not my favorite, but love the fragrance. Salted pistachio, toasted vanilla almonds with, with natural essential oils. They all say that. This is great. This is another one that I feel like it's very, you either love it or you hate it. Pistachio can be a note that people absolutely go crazy for, absolutely love. And then it's also one that people can absolutely hate and say, forget it. I happen to really love pistachio. Pistachio can come across cherry if you don't do it right. I don't think this comes across cherry at all. It comes off real toasty, real nutty, real warm. And then the extra bakery notes from the vanilla. Yes, really, really love. This is also really, really good. Spiced gingerbread. This is just from the White Barn Holiday Collection. And the notes are vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. This doesn't necessarily smell like a gingerbread cookie. I've definitely smelled more authentic gingerbread fragrances, but it is really nice. It's better than the gingerbread bakery scent. The gingerbread bakery scent is a little bit too gingery. This is a nice balance of the cinnamon, the sugar, the warm, comforting notes with the ginger. I mean, it doesn't even say there's ginger in the notes, but again, these three notes are not everything that's in the candle, so you can't say for sure, but either way, I like the spiced gingerbread. I think it's nice. I think it'll be a nice kitchen candle as well for the holidays. Mm. Uh, another really, to me, ugly packaging is vanilla balsam, but I love vanilla balsam. I know Tiffany from Teddy Bee's does a vanilla balsam oil in her wax that is to die for. And if I had a choice between fresh balsam and vanilla balsam, it's vanilla balsam all day, every day. The lids are really fun. They have this really cool like ornament pattern pressed on. And then, ugh, this packaging, uh -uh, I do not like it. It looks way too juvenile. Um, not as ugly as the cranberry parabellini though. It's like this green color, yikes. And strawberry snowflakes just smells terrible and the packaging is terrible. Balsam fir, frosted vanilla, and snow-capped pine needles. This, it's like you take your fresh balsam and you add a ton of vanilla, almost making it like an ice cream, which is so interesting to me. It's not like overwhelming or cloying and it doesn't smell edible because it's ice cream. But it's added this really, really rich, like, French vanilla cream into the tree fragrance, which I think makes it way more suitable for everybody than fresh balsam. So compared to Under the Christmas Tree, though, Under the Christmas Tree definitely has that sage spice in the juniper, where this is just straight up super, super creamy vanilla with the balsam. Really like that. <gasps> this. I think this is a hit. My store was almost sold out of it. Crunchy English toffee. This is kind of like a storybook 
collection because we have the bookmark in the front and then we have like some scroll work in the back just a, a shiny gold lid sweet brown sugar crunchy toffee and a dash of vanilla extract this is so good this is not overwhelming like the salted caramel candle or the caramel drizzle candle that's out right now this is just a really mellow caramel that little bit of the crunchy toffee and the salt really good really hits really really enjoy this one i know i was thinking about getting two i think i'm gonna go back tomorrow just to see and but i am only getting i am, i do only have the one if there's a second one tomorrow i might get another one because i do really enjoy this fragrance it is a really sweet caramel without being overwhelming mm, really good really really yummy Another one, I feel like I buy this every year now that it's out, Lavender Marshmallow. Not the best packaging, but still, I like the color of the wax. The lid has this really fun, there's like pies and petty fours and bunt cakes and ice cream cones and cupcakes. Super fun packaging on there. And the notes are fluffy marshmallow, touch of vanilla and fresh, touch of lavender and fresh vanilla bean. This is nice. This is more of an herbal lavender, but really amped up with the marshmallow and the vanilla sweetness. It is really yummy. I do really enjoy it. But otherwise, it's a good bedroom candle. So I am going to save this for my bedroom. I don't think, I think this is going to be one. Typically, I have been really, really good. I'm going to show you right here about burning my candles. This is a Kringle until they burn all the way down before I start new ones. And I just have like a rotation so that way I don't get sick of the scent. But I do think this one is gonna be one, I burn a little bit, tuck away, burn a little bit, tuck away because I don't always burn lavender in my bedroom all the time. But some nights where like, I feel like I really need to sleep, this will be a good option. So I like that one. And then last but not least, this really surprised me. I have it in the hand soap. Balsam and Bergamot. I love the Neutrals collection. Love Neutrals. They they do such a great job with this. And I love that this is a collection that is continuing for Bath & Body Works. And they just changed the label. But it's very simple. Very easy. If you have like candle holders, it's nice. They can just tuck right in there. But Balsam and Bergamot. Balsam branches, crisp air, and zesty Bergamot. It's real clean and fresh, which is what I like. And it's not overwhelming on the balsam. I was real nervous when I first smelled this. I was like, is this going to be like super balsam? But it's not. It's actually really nice. Really crisp, really clean, really fresh. And I don't think the bergamot makes it cologne -y. with the crisp air. It really just makes it zesty and bright. Really good. I think this will be a really great spring candle or like a January candle where you're not sure what you want to burn, but you still want to have like a quote unquote holiday candle because it is January. I think this will really fill that void. So I picked up one of those and that's it. That is my candle day haul. Let me know what you guys picked up from candle day. Do you have any favorites? I was looking at the Wildberry and Ube candle. I don't know. Do I want that one? I was debating maybe another crunchy English toffee. That'd be the only one in this collection that I think I really want a second one of. But yeah, I don't know. Do I want to go back and smell the other ones? I don't know. I think 16 is good. I don't want to go more than 20. If I do go back, I would only get like four more. But I think for now, this is a great number. Let me know again. Did you guys partake, partake in Candle Day? Did you just shop online? I know Buy Online Pickup and Store was not an option for Candle Day, which is great. So let me know if you guys picked up any candles, what your favorites are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.